Good morning, uh, Chairman Massey, Chairman Beauchon, Ranking Members Wilson and Lipinski, and members of the subcommittee. It is my pleasure to be back here to discuss the next generation of computing and big data analytics. Today we live in an era of data and information, enabled by advanced technologies that surround us. Data is generated by modern experimental methods, scientific instruments such as telescopes and particle accelerators, large-scale simulators, Internet transactions, email, video images, click streams, and widespread deployment of sensors everywhere. Approximately 90 percent of the data in the world today were created in the last two years alone. However, when we talk about big data, it is important to emphasize not only the enormous volume of data being generated, but also the velocity, heterogeneity, and complexity of data that now confronts us. Why is big data important? Uh, several others have alluded to this already. Data represents a transformative, transformative new currency. Big data is increasingly important to all facets of our nation's discovery and innovation ecosystem. First, insights and more accurate predictions from large and complex collection of data are creating opportunities in new markets, driving the cre creation of IT products and services, and boosting the productivity of businesses. Second, advances in our ability to store, integrate, and extract meaning and information from data are accelerating the pace of discovery in almost every science and engineering discipline. Third, big data has the potential to solve many of the nation's most pressing challenges, from healthcare and education to cybersecurity and public safety, yielding enormous societal benefits and ensuring sustained U.S. competitiveness. Let me share with you just a few examples of the promise of big data. These are all grounded in research that is funded by the Federal Government or by the private sector, the work that is done in the private sector. By integrating biomedical, clinical, and scientific data, we can predict the onset of diseases and identify unwanted drug interactions. By coupling roadway sensors, traffic cameras, individual GPS devices, we can reduce traffic con congestion and ge generate significant savings in time and fuel. By accurately predicting natural disasters, such as hurricanes and tornadoes, we can employ life-saving and preventative measures that mitigate their potential impact. By correlating disparate data streams through text mining, image analysis, and face recognition, we can enhance public safety and public security. By integrating emerging technologies such as MOOCs and inverted classrooms with knowledge from research about how people learn, we can transform formal and informal education. What does this mean for scientific discovery? Data-driven discovery, also called the fourth paradigm, is revolutionizing scientific exploration and engineering innovations. It enables extraction of new knowledge, provides novel approaches to driving discovery and decision-making, yields increasingly accurate predictions, and provides deeper understanding of causal relationship based on advanced data analysis. What is government doing to ensure uh, we harness this potential? As it was mentioned already, in 2011, U.S. Networking and Information Technology Research and Development Program, also called NIDRD, formed the Big Data Senior Steering Group to identify, initiate, and coordinate big data research and development activities across the government to ensure that Federal agencies, the scientific research enterprise, and public maximally benefit from data-driven discovery. In March 2012, the National Big Data R&D Initiative was launched focusing the steering committee's fo uh, group's focus on the tools, technologies, and human capital needed to move from data to knowledge to action. We see exciting new partnership opportunities with the private sector, state and local governments, academia, and nonprofits. At NSF, we have identified four major investment areas that address current challenges and promise to serve as the foundation of comprehensive long-term agenda. First, investment in foundational research to advance big data techniques and technologies. Second, support for building new interdisciplinary research communities. Third, investment in education and workforce development. And finally, development and deployment of cyber infrastructure to capture, manage, and analyze and share digital data. I should add that NSF's investment in cyber infrastructure includes advanced computational resources that support data-enabled science, in particular the newly dedicated Blue Waters, Stampede, and Yellowstone supercomputers will expand our nation's computational capabilities significantly. In summary, big data represents enormous opportunities for our nation. 
Investments in big data research and education will advance the frontier of knowledge, further fostering innovation, creating new economic opportunities, and yielding new approaches to ad addressing national priorities. Thank you again for this opportunity. I would be happy to answer any questions.